How to sound smart at a dinner party. Here we go again. Another dinner party at Gary and Marsha's. Boy, are these dreadful. How Especially because everyone is so、friend. smart and well read and、Who's、up、that? on current events. And they all seem to know so much about music and art. The only art you know is that heavy set chap with the handlebar moustache at the dry cleaner down the street. And he's always losing your shirt. Hey, so, how shirt can you converse with these folks? You obviously can't keep up with them in a real conversation. After all, you can't learn everything overnight. But you really don't want them to think you're a total moron, like last time. Though, in fairness, that old composer they were talking about does have a similar name to your favorite monster truck. Just follow these simple steps, and you'll take your dinner conversation to a whole new level. First, make sure to drink to excess. This will give you courage to execute what we'll call the contrarian offensive. After getting properly lubricated, whenever a new topic of conversation is introduced, always challenge any statement with negativity. That new show at the museum, terrible. That brilliant new novel, derivative. That modern dance piece at that place with the funny name, overly pretentious and silly. The new season of Orange is the New Black lost its way after season one. When called on any of your opinions, simply deflect and turn the question around on your accuser. So tell me what makes it so good. Now you have them right where you want them, on the defensive, doing all the talking, and giving you all the information you need to mount a meaningless but smart-ish sounding counterargument. Keep it up all night long, and no one will think you're stupid. They'll just think you're a drunken, contrarian <laughs> arsehole, and you probably won't get invited back. Victory. <laughs> <laughs>